What's up, family? This is your girl, Aqua Goddess, coming to give you guys a quick general read. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, and future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you join the family. I would love to have you. Like and subscribe to the channel to be notified for your future readings. If you are returning, welcome back, family. Thank you so much for your love and support. If you guys are interested in purchasing any artwork, manifestation, jewelry, donating to the channel, or booking a personal reading, all of that information will be in our description box below. This reading will be for my Leo Virgo cusp. So if your birthday falls in between those dates, uh, these messages may resonate with you. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, so let's go ahead and tap right in. Holy Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Guides Most High, please protect me and my collective as I channel the messages for the sign of Leo Virgo Cusp. Please return all negative energy to sender 20 million fold and anybody out there showing me love. Much love and light to you. All right. So definitely what I'm picking up is that this is a pretty messy situation. I'm not going to lie. I see that there's somebody that you might be talking to, um, or this could be a past person for you. I'm seeing that this person could have ghosted you. They may have made you feel like you were not that girl or that guy, and they made you feel like they could do better. So this person went and crept off with somebody. It could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. And it's like they got involved with this person. Not knowing what they should have known with this person before they had unprotected sex with them. So I see that this person got an STD from whoever this person is that they ghosted you for. It's definitely, it was something that was able to be cleared up, but it's the principle that they, that was their karma for ghosting you. You, they wanted you to chase them and you decided not to, you know, and so at this point. They started a connection elsewhere. I do see this connection ending um, here. I see that this person, whoever this karmic is, they tried to sacrifice them with this STD energy, but it didn't work. Because whatever it is that they passed on to them was able to be treated. So this is not something that they were able to permanently hinder your person with. But I do see that... Um, for some of you guys, you may be studying something new, a new passion, could be tarot, art, whatever. I see good news revolving around that, something creative. And this is what you spent your time focusing on. A lot of you guys may have got trust issues in regards to this person ghosting you or just finding out that they were someone that you didn't know. You know, this could have definitely caused you t some type of trust issues you know where you needed time to heal but I see that you were studying or learning something new during this healing process and I see it bringing you a lot of abundance um, a lot of money good news in regards to money opportunities things of that sort so I see that this person feels a certain type of way because they've been betrayed by the person that they betrayed you for now they want to come and try to communicate with you they're thinking about all the bad memories that they caused in your life and all the bad memories that they've experienced with this karmic. And it's like this person wants to walk away from this karmic, but come towards you with this seductive energy. And I don't know what this person's status is, but I would say to better be safe than sorry. Walk away. This person got some health issues going on that they're not discussing. So what is this person's true intentions when it comes to my collective? What is their true intentions when it comes to my collective? So this person's mentally in prison. They're realizing that they don't want to start over with anybody but you. Um, this person could be having some type of legal issues. Um, they may need to move in with you or they could be having a, a issue with their finances or stability. This might be something that they were using the karmic for. I see this person wanting to bring you a gift, but I also see baby mama, baby daddy drama. So this could either already be your baby mama or baby daddy, or this is something that they're planning on doing. 
Yeah. They're planning on getting you pregnant. I'm telling you, sneaky link. This is somebody that's not going to take you serious, going to come in here with this passion. They obviously did not learn their lesson from this karmic individual. So Spirit, tell me what this person's karma will be in regards to this destruction, these lies, this manipulation. What is this person's karma? You will not probably even give this person another chance. Definitely. What else, Spirit? For some of you all, their karma is that you probably aren't going to be engaged to someone else by the time they come back. On a double date at the beach somewhere. Yeah, time off of work, paid. What's up? Yeah, like I said, like I absolutely said, no more chances. No more chances. It's over. You can't even trust this person. Lesson learned. No dating, no chances, no nothing. Because I feel like a lot of you guys are meeting or you have already met somebody that's absolutely ready for love. They're not here to play games with you. And this person then went through the most with this karmic and still ain't learned their lesson. But I see you sitting real pretty with your angelic protection. At the end of the day, you are protected no matter what. So your intuition or your gut is going to be telling you something in regards to this person anyway, whether they reach out to you or not. You're going to be rem remembering the bad memories that you experienced with this person, how they stabbed you in the back and betrayed you. And I see you guys moving forward, period, point blank. Spirit, tell me what this person's intentions are after my collective moves forward. What do they plan on doing after the collective decides to move forward? See, I told you that you see signs, messages, signs, synchronicities will be coming towards you in regards to the situation. This person is going to be salty for real. And they're going to start actually learning from this karmic situation when they can't have the person that they really truly love back. They can't have you back because it's like you're too tapped in now. Now you know the signs. Now you know the red flags. And 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 it scares this person. But spirit is asking this person, is it that scary? For some of you guys, this person's gonna come around fall, around your birthday. And I see them being very obsessed, dangerously obsessed with you. And spending a lot of time in solitude doing that soul work that they should have did before they even met you, to be honest. But, I mean, you can't help when you meet somebody, but this person should have learned because now you're cutting the cords. You refuse to block your blessings with somebody that's wearing masks. This is no mystery to you. You already know how they hurt you. And I see dangerous passion here. So, like I said, this person has fatal attraction energy because they're obsessed with you. Okay. All right. So, Spirit, tell me the good news for my Leo Virgo cusp. What is the good news for Leo Virgo cusp, Spirit? Uh, definitely a lot of financial gain. Um, some of you guys might be single for a while, but you're working on your money. Your bag looks nice. You're relaxing, self-love, happiness, maybe going to the beach, the pool. Yeah. Um, you're rejuvenating in regards to heartbreak, three of swords, energy. But I see new love right when you're not looking for it. You're literally chilling. Like, you are chilling. You're not even thinking about love, and here comes love. Okay, so tell me about the new love. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Oh, this person could be a chef. They might cook for you. Definitely. I'm seeing that this person... They're very quiet, but they're very talented. They're very skilled, but they like to stay to their self. This is the kind of person I like. They don't, they're not loose with their communication and things. They focus on abundance. I see. Okay. And I'm hearing they're a really good chef.
You might think this person is being manipulative because you're not getting your way with this person, but they just need patience. They spend a lot of time alone. They just, they're intrigued by you. You can meet this person when you're on a walk or a run or you're at the park or something. You might meet this person. There could be a restaurant or something or somewhere where you get drinks and you might come to this person's restaurant. Yeah. Okay. Tell me more about this chef spirit. I'm hearing they're very successful in what they do and they make a lot of money. Yeah. Ten of cups. And the six of uh, wands. Nice. So I see a victory with this person. Some of you guys might build a family with this person. Like two kids. But I see unconditional love. I see a lot of things being accomplished. This person could definitely be in a public eye. They could work as like a chef where they like. Like have you ever been to a real hibachi restaurant where they just like make the stuff in front of you or something? They get a lot of recognition for what it is that they do. A lot of people love them for it. And they're always satisfied with the outcome. I'm hearing. Nice. Ooh. They're definitely going to open up to you. A lot of passion here. Ooh, a lot of money too. Costume designer energy. Somebody could be into fashion design or art. Or this person could actually want to marry you. And you could be getting your dress made. Like, so this is beautiful energy from a dark place. Yeah, strength. And it's all because you had the strength to give this past person no more chances. All right. So those are the energy that that is the energy that I have for you today. I hope you enjoy this reading. If it resonates with you, if you like the reading, show me some love, like and subscribe to the channel. Much love and light. Peace.